What if I told you I've been lying to you? Okay, so it's not a real lie, but a lie by omission, meaning I didn't tell you, so therefore it wasn't a lie, but by not telling you it's a lie, does that make sense? Well, th this is just my long way of saying, I moved, guys. <laughs> I am moved. Onto the family compound. <sighs> what a ride it has been. This has been the craziest last two weeks of my entire life, and I am gonna be the first to let you know, this isn't a moving vlog. It's a moved in vlog. I am fully moved in. We just finished last night. It took three days and it was so stressful. I was gone in Indiana for five days while the moving process began. And I literally left to go to Indiana for work for my amazing job that I love. I left to go there and I was living in the old house. You guys have seen a bunch. I came back five days later and we were in boxes in the new house and had just started the moving process. And then we moved for three more days. And then I literally just got back to work today's Tuesday. Just got back to work. This is my first day back at work since I've been in Indiana. So it's been crazy, it's been wild, but we are out on the family compound. You see, there's my car. There, it looks like there's literally nothing out here. My sister's house is next door and then my parents are next door to her. But I'll have to show you through the back door because you can't really see them this way. But we're at my front door because you're getting a tour. A tour of the house? Yeah? No? Yeah? Um, let me welcome you in to the new setting of our vlogs. Okay, I want to remind you that I am still moving to a certain extent and we don't have furniture to fill this whole house. So while it is very cute and very vibey and I love it so much, it's not exactly the way it's gonna be in perpetuity. You guys all know this, but this is your first look at the house. I have not shown anybody on TikTok or anywhere. So I'm very excited to show you. Okay, coming in. Let me close the door. Welcome to my house, guys. Wow, this is the first time I've seen it on camera and it just looks so cute. I'm gonna flip around so you won't be seeing my face anymore, but you get the picture. Okay, y'all, we are spun around now and I'm behind the camera, so you can't see me, but you can hear me. This is my little entryway area. We have the money tree that my company sent me, which I think is so cute and sweet, and a little mirror and just a little entryway table. This area is subject to change because I think I'm gonna be painting this wall but I haven't decided what I want yet, so we'll, we're gonna table that for later, okay? Living room, how cutie. My plants are so happy here. Also, this box is stuff that needs to go to the trash. I could have been a really good vlogger and like taken that out before I started this, but I didn't, so sorry about that. Okay, living room here. I have my fall decorations up, which I also did without you guys. Please do not sue me for that. Um, we have this cutie little lamp. I think the Alexa just turned on the lights actually because we have all the Amazon bulbs and they shut, turn on auto. And you see they're kind of on right now, cute. So there's my little hurricane lamp. We actually got this at a thrift store and I love it so much. And here is my couch with my freaking serious black pillows, you guys. Do you guys remember this? I talk about this on the vlogs. These are from Marshalls and they literally look like Padfoot. Like, tell me that's not serious black as Padfoot in a Gryffindor scarf. You can't because it is. I don't know who designed those, but I, I caught you. Okay, back to full living room view. We've got this cutie little chair over here from my grandma that I think is adorable. This is actually my comforter from when I was a child. This is my first comforter I ever had when I was like five years old. I just have it rolled up in this basket because I kind of want to use it on the couch now. Um, we've got some plants, the TV, little guy here. I want to take out this built-in. I don't really like this thing in the back. I think it's pretty ugly. Um, but I, now the actual built-in is growing on me, but the thing in the back I think still needs to go. We'll see. Uh, a clock also from my grandmother. So cute. And my Monstera is in here now. You guys have probably never seen this Monstera because it used to be in my living room that was like a den scary area that you've literally never seen on a vlog because I did not want to show anyone it. Now we spin around. This is my little dining room area. It has some little fall decor on it. Um, we've got a little pothos hanging in the corner. I want to get prints for like here and here. I think there just needs to be things on the walls. There's not really anything on the walls. Also guys, ADHD Katie, hi. Do you ever just not close doors after you open them because you literally have ADHD? I feel like I need to turn the lights on in here. It's getting kind of dark. Oh yeah, espresso machine. And guys, look. This is all the coffee stuff I have and my syrups are down below it down there. Um, so exciting, so cute. And what a cute little coffee bar area we have. I'm gonna flip on these lights. There we go, that's a little bit brighter. Okay, so kitchen. 
super cute. I'm gonna change out these bar stools for something more colorful, I think. And also look at how cute these little pumpkins are hanging from my lights. Aren't they so cute? I've actually had them for literally years and years and years. I made them, long story. Also, the stuff up here is subject to change. I don't know what's staying here and what's not. I think this shelf is gonna get rearranged. I like this one, but this top one is awkward. These two are flawless. How cute are these? I got these at Goodwill. I have two of them. Oh, and here's the best part of this kitchen window. First of all, this is a tree that's like native to Arizona that is literally, I got to keep it and it's just so gorgeous. And here are my horses that, we only have french fry here right now. Ping pong is currently still at the old house, uh, but I can see them from right there. And there's our little fire pit. We're burning all of our boxes from moving in. I'm gonna close this again. Look at the sky! Just guys, I'm literally in love. Okay, this is my laundry room. There's currently nothing in it except for like moving stuff because our uh, washer and dryer is still at the old house because Ethan's mom is still moving. So we left that there for her. Now we're gonna go down this hallway. This is literally an air vent thing, air filter thing. I don't know. It's not important. You don't need to know. This is my little sister Grace's bathroom. Okay, next portion of the house, I need to fill you in on something before I can show it to you. My little sister Grace is moved in with us, which I haven't really told you guys about yet. Uh, so she has a little bathroom down here in a bedroom. She's my youngest sister. She is 18 and she goes to GCU here in Arizona. And so she's living with me, which I'm so excited about, but I'm gonna show you like her little spaces too. Probably not her room, because I don't think it's done yet, but I'll just show you where her door is, I guess, until she's ready to, till, till I get verbal permission to show her room on a vlog because she's not here right now okay so this is her bathroom it's literally so cute it's so cute and girly look how cute her little jewelry organizers are and this little cup she has for jewelry so cute okay she got this little towel we need to do like a print in here maybe paint it we're we're not sure we're not fully sure what we're doing but it's very very cutie and then right across from grace's bathroom is my office which is gonna look so familiar to you guys because honestly look we just have my desk i'm still in boxes i still have all this i need to unpack but i am refusing to do it right now because i just don't want to and then we have, of course, my little bookshelf and a little plant. And my plan eventually, guys, is to actually get rid of this bookshelf and get Billy bookshelves from Ikea and possibly paint them and put them actually on this wall, not this wall. But this is the only bookshelf I have right now, so we're making do with what we've got. I wanna get like a chair, a comfy chair to sit in and read in here and you know, all of that good stuff. I just haven't gotten that far yet. And I literally have so much in the closet. Like there's just so much that needs to be unpacked, but it needs like, I had more shelves in the last house to store things on. I don't have them here. So I know when I unpack those, it's gonna be a nightmare for me because there's just so many things that won't have a place to go. Moving down the hallway now. This is a dog room currently, <laughs> not the official plan for this room. Also again, things are just kind of everywhere from moving, but I have dog beds in here and this cute little shelf. Eventually I think I'm gonna get a couple chairs for in here and just make it a cute little sitting area. Obviously we will still have the dog beds in here, but this is where they've been hanging out because they're so gross and dirty from all the loose dirt out here. There's French fry, you can see her. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Yeah, but they're, they're literally disgusting from being here like in the dirt, so they've been like in prison right here. This is Gracie's room. Again, I'm not gonna show you because she's not here for verbal confirmation that I can show it. And then this is Ethan's like game room, which is honestly in, in a state, okay? He has this little recliner guy. Our snake is in here. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that we have a snake, but we have a 30 year old ball python. Um, clearly he's not done much unpacking. He's getting TVs for this so he can game in here. This is his closet. This house has such big walk-in closets. But yeah, so that's this room. Now we go across all the way that way to that door where the master is. One thing about this whole experience that's been so crazy is I just like can't get over how much more space we have here. So this room is very empty because like I was saying, this has been such a crazy change for us because we had a, such a tiny room in the last house and I'm just not used to having all this space. We ended up getting a king size bed. We've been sleeping on a queen for eight years. Our eight year wedding anniversary is next week and literally eight years on a queen mattress. Wouldn't recommend, but it's what we did. So now we have this giant bed and we still have our same cutie little nightstands and uh, lamps, but I think I will probably 
end up getting different nightstands and I definitely want to get a rug for this room as well as the living room also I didn't really mention that but this is our master and like I don't know if you can fully understand how freaking huge this is but it's huge like such a big room okay and now we're gonna go into the bathroom area so we've got our like vanities our two little sinks and everything we've got a nice gorgeous giant tub we've got this big shower i need to get shower shelves from amazon i ordered some and they canceled my order because they said that they don't make the shelves anymore and i'm like okay that's rude because i literally ordered them why are they on amazon if I can't, you know, whatever. Anyways, this is our little toilet room. Um, This is our closet, which is huge and so unorganized, but you guys have seen my closet in other vlogs. Clearly we don't have a dresser. Can you see all the folded clothes up there? But you guys have seen all my other vlogs where I had such a tiny closet. Now we have this giant closet. I'm gonna do the inserts from Ikea and kind of like make it better as we go. That's definitely on the list of projects. But yeah, I'm in love. And I also just can't get over the floor color. Like it is so cute. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Ethan laid all of this himself, which is just nuts if you ask me. I can't believe he laid me all this flooring. I love him so much. But yeah, this is the house guys. Super cozy, super cute. And then let's show you out the back door. So here we go. Oh, look at how sweet she is. We have these like little tiny shades on here temporarily just so they have shade for the summer. Um, these are just like panels. We're going to make actual stalls eventually. This is a very temporary setup for them until we can actually like build the stalls. So this has all happened really quickly. The sunsets are so beautiful here. Okay, you can see that is George's house right there. And that's my mom and dad's house right there. I don't know if you can really comprehend how close that is, but Georgia counted and her back door to my back door is 60 steps. We do have a little shed. I've talked about this on TikTok before. Ethan's mom bought it. She has a bunch of tools. She's gonna plug in an RV over here. And so she wanted a place to keep her tools. So that's hers. And yeah, we've got this little table, our fire pit, and eventually ping pong will be out here when he comes from the other house. But yeah. And we're literally in the middle of nowhere. How gorgeous is this view? Like, are you kidding? Also, this is all the debris that built up when we were clearing the land. It's just on my property. So just ignore that when you're looking at the gorgeous view. Ignore the giant pile of junk. So, clearly I've been up to a lot lately, so you know why I have been MIA on the channel. I had a lovely trip in Indiana for my new job and then we moved. And honestly guys, I kind of love that I've done a moved in video instead of a moving video because how fun was it to see everything completed? I know the progression is fun, but I think this is also fun. So we're so back guys. Like the vlog squad is so back. Oh my gosh, wait. I always end up recording in my kitchen and remember the last kitchen, new kitchen backdrop. What are we even gonna do, guys? What are we even gonna do? So, this week is mainly gonna be about getting into our routine, getting things set up and good to go, settling into the new house, settling into working from home here, and just all the great things. I'm just so happy for you guys to be here with me and spend the week with me and enjoy this new phase of life we are in. Again, sorry for no moving vlogs. It just was such a stressful week. There was no way that I was gonna be able to record while moving. It was just too, too stressful, but I'm so happy I'm here and I'm so happy we're in the new house. I feel so settled and so good. And I can't wait for all the content, all the home projects that we have in mind. There's so many different things that I wanna do to this house that I wanna change this backsplash really bad. <laughs> I don't like the like millennial gray tile. I wanna paint so many things. Like we just have so many things that are gonna be fun little projects in this house. And I can't wait for you guys to be here while all that happens. Some of you have been following the channel since me and Ethan literally lived in a fifth wheel, which is crazy. Like just the, the, you know what I'm saying? The storyline goes so crazy. It really goes crazy. The lore that I've had on the internet and the amount of you that have followed me through all of those phases of my life through living in a fifth wheel, living in Washington state when I lived in Washington for a few years and then coming back home to Arizona, living in the fifth wheel, moving into the rental and now moving here. Like you guys have seen all of that with me and you don't know how much it means to me that I have people that have just been like following me in my journey and it really means a lot to me. So yeah, I love you guys a lot and I'm excited to spend the week with you because I've missed you a lot and I needed to show all my friends my house, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm getting to and that's exciting. 
My plans for the rest of the night are I think I'm going to bake some cookies and possibly put on a show. Not sure yet. I'm actually gonna call my sister who's literally right next door and see if she wants to come over while I bake my cookies and maybe watch a show. I don't know what show we're gonna watch, but something. So we're gonna go ring her up, Georgia. She's the one who lives literally right next door. So let me see if she's available. <laughs> I just baked my first thing in the new house. And guys, I just, the vibes are so good. Do I look like I own a home? Tell me. Do I look like I own this place? I love it! So good. Oh, these are my favorite cookies right now. They're brown butter. Maybe I'll put the link in the description if you guys want. I got it off a uh, girl from our book club. She was like, this is the best cookie recipe you're ever gonna eat. And I was like, I'll be the judge of that because I freaking love chocolate chip cookies and you would not believe it. They are actually the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. And when I say ever had, I mean they beat anything from any like crumble, any cookie place, any bakery I've ever been to. This is the only chocolate chip cookie that I will eat from now on. This is the second time I've made them in like the last month actually, because I liked them so much. We're having them again. So yeah, my sister is coming over I think to try one uh, because I told her I was making them and I really wanted her and Grace to be able to try them. Grace is at work. She's not gonna be home till like 10 o'clock. So we, we've got a while before Grace is home, but when she gets home, she's gonna be able to try one too. Um, I have had just the most dreamy time cooking them and feeling like such a homeowner, baking by myself in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my night. I haven't decided. I need to walk my dogs. I did feed the horse, they already fed her. But I think I might watch Halloween Town on the couch. That's my plan. I'm just having my best little fall life in here. And I just needed you guys to know. I needed you to know. Guys, I feel like I'm just now, since coming back from Indiana, getting used to, let me straighten you out here. I feel like I am just now, since coming back from Indiana, getting onto a regular sleep schedule. It's been like four or five days. And before I was falling asleep at like 8 p.m. every night because I was three hours ahead. Um, and I'm like, right now it's 10 p.m. and I'm still awake, which might not sound that crazy to you, but for me right now, it's a miracle. I, I feel like I'm just now getting on a regular schedule, being home. Not sure if you guys remember this, but a while back ago, I was talking about the new house before we had moved in and I was like getting ready one night on a vlog and I was like, I can't wait until one night we're doing this in the new house. Look at us go, guys. Look at us go. We're literally here. We're living in the future and I'm getting ready at the new house. Is this angle not so much better than the last house? Like, I don't know if you guys remember that awkward ass angle I had to have you at on the old, like in the old bathroom when I was getting my skincare done for the night. It was so awkward and so annoying and now I have this awesome like layout to have you guys on and it's so much better. First toothbrushing clip in the new house. You guys know how I love to brush my teeth in a blog. Anyway, long story short, or really should I say short story long, I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna get in bed and I don't really have anything else to update you on, so I will see you guys in the morning. I'll give it to him. Whenever I drink dirty chais, it reminds me of Barnes & Noble because I always get a dirty chai when I'm there. Good morning, guys. Ethan just got back from work. I'm making him a coffee. So if you hear the espresso machine, that's why you hear it. But he just brought Nami and also Ping Pong. I don't know if you guys could really see him. He's tied up to the horse trailer out here. Look, you see? He's way out there, but so excited they're both here. We couldn't bring the cat because we needed to get a new litter box before she could come over here. She's like creeping around here. You can tell she's like doesn't know how she feels about being in the new house. Uh, I think she thinks we just left her in the old house with Ethan's mom. I don't think that she thought we were ever coming to get her. So I don't know if she's relieved or scared. I have no idea how she feels, but it is feels good to have her here because I felt weird without her. And also ping pong. Every day I go out and I feed french fry. The reason we didn't have him here was we just, it literally was just like circumstances the way that it worked out. Um, that he was just not, like it made more sense to have him, that one horse in each place. 
Um, oh, also, look at all of these Amazon packages that Ethan ordered. It's literally, he said there's literally like 20 Amazon packages. One of them is mine, and this is a camera bag that I'm super excited about. It's a camera backpack that I ordered on Amazon for when I travel for work. Because I think I told you guys my new job, um, I'm going to be traveling a lot for. And so I ordered a camera backpack because I need to carry on my camera and it needed a laptop sleeve. So we're going to take a look and see what we think. Because right now for work, I only have one lens. So I don't need something really huge. Yeah. I hope my laptop fits in here. I feel like my laptop is bigger than this. I hate doing an Amazon return, but there is quite literally no other option. We're going to have to do an Amazon return. What can you do? Come on, Amarok. Lately, I've been really struggling with like my face feeling tight and puffy in the morning. I think it's because we're in allergy season and I've recently learned my allergies um, are really bad. I'm taking allergy medication, but you know, there's only so much you can do. Um, but icing right in the morning, you need to be careful with these. This is like the straight ice roller. I use a, a, a regular ice roller too, but this one seems to be the best thing right away in the morning. It's obviously my face is like soaking wet, but if you get one of these, you need to be careful with it because they can burst your capillaries in your face. So don't be going too hard or too extreme. I just do a couple passes before I do my skincare and then she's good. I sometimes use the regular roller. It just depends on like how I'm feeling. I brought you back into my room. Oh, my camera battery is dying. Okay, new battery is good to go. Today is my first ever day off in the new house. I have not had a day off since I moved here. Well, I mean, when we were moving in, I had days off, but like you're moving in, there's nothing you can do. It feels kind of weird because for the last like month, it feels like I've been like, I had my new job going and I've had like, um, you know, just just a bunch of changes to my daily life. And to me, when I start a new job, like it feels like everything changes along with it, like at the same time, you know? So because I've had all of these big shifts, I haven't really been in my like normal routine. Like I haven't been doing things normally. Like I didn't do a monthly reset for October cause we were just all over the place. I was in Indiana. Um, I haven't done like my regular little restocks like I'm out of a bunch of skincare and I like live in a completely different area now like I'm in the middle of nowhere so I mean I can drive and I would drive to the same places where I used to shop but it's just farther away from me now than it used to be and I don't know I think it takes some time getting used to that and like finding your rhythm again when you move to a new place and I'm definitely feeling that right now I'm like I haven't really left the house much also I've been like enjoying being in the new house so clearly i don't really want to leave the house much i'm just having fun being here but now today i'm like i have a day off i can do whatever i want and i'm with you guys so we can go shop we can go do literally whatever we want and what is that like what do we want to do today let's force ourselves to leave the house actually i don't know what i'm feeling i think we went to marshall's yesterday i didn't bring you guys with we just got some like basic house stuff nothing really that cool sorry no we was crying in front of my door i just had to go let her in but we got just like pasta bowls some straws for coffee a couple cups because i was out of coffee cups yeah nothing nothing really super fun but today I might go run around, maybe go to Barnes because I haven't been in so long. Technically I'm still reading The Magicians, but I think it would be fun to get a light, cheesy little romance book to read because I've just been reading like really heavy, intense fantasy and that's good and fine and I have nothing against that. But I am kind of craving something stupid and fun. Um, and maybe we don't buy anything, but we get it on the Kindle. I don't know what my plan is yet, but I feel like I just, I want to go somewhere and do something. I guess the theme for this vlog is like getting my personality back post new job and move. Because I'm moving and I have a lot going on, it'll feel like that's my whole personality and that's like my whole life. Um, and like, I, I'm never going to be back to the like, way I was. And then now it's all over. So we're just making, we're refining our personality again and it's not moving or getting a new job, if that even makes sense. Guys. My brain, I haven't had coffee this morning, can you tell? Kind of did it, but that's sort of simply. Me and George have a few errands. 
errands to run, so we're gonna go do that. I think I told you guys, today's the day I'm getting my personality back, and we're going to Barnes, we're going to Marshalls, we're going to Goodwill. We're running all around the whole damn city of surprise. But I'm gonna move you guys to the Osmo now, which if you don't know, I have a little camera for what I'm vlogging now. I haven't really made any videos. I don't know, I haven't used the Osmo really on the, on the channel, because I've been using it for other things, but I will have you on the Osmo, which is so exciting. First stop is Barnes and Noble, Georgia's starving. before and I'm gonna say it again. The Osmo is literally my favorite camera to vlog in public with because it's so tiny. No one even knows that you're using it. It actually does sound pretty good. Isn't that just... Grimes' ex-boyfriend Caitlin this to an Elon Musk? <laughs> oh, I love this, period. What else? Is the Big Spoon the winner? Thanks to men who's watching MMA. <laughs> okay. Were you on Do you the work here? So this man is waiting for his wife to finish up shopping. <laughs> so you're like a Disney adult. So this man is like Star Wars or Marvel. So these hurt things in their background. I thought this might be the third Ron Hub book that I just bought on Amazon and that there was a blue edition. It's not. This is later in the series. But how cute is the blue one? For reference, these ones are yellow. So cute. I did. I did spend fifty dollars on books, and I already do have books at home I could read. But I wanted to read cutesy fall Halloween books. George also got a fidget spinner, not actually a fidget spinner, but a fidget toy that was like forty bucks. It's this worth it. Be the best thing I've ever fucking touched in my life. Well, you know what? I had that worm that I was playing with. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And it really was, I would have spent $50 on it because that's how much I loved it. I don't know what happened oh, to it. What happened to the worm? I don't know. Oh, I can't God. find it. Okay. Moment of truth. Holy shit, guys. Oh. Worth every penny. Okay. I love that it just like, the like the consistency of it. Oh, yeah. Is that exactly what you needed? Oh, yeah. Worth it. Barnes and Noble find it, so it just, it just sticks to that. Yeah, and then you have a carrying case. See, that's Shut so up. satisfying, though. Like, I feel like that's worth every penny. Dude, I'm stinning. Isn't that what they call it? <laughs> okay, I'm having a moment. Oh, no, this have your moment. Than the These are called specs, by the way. And literally, that was $34.99. <laughs> and it was worth Honestly, it. Honestly, I can't believe I bought it, but I can at the same time. Sometimes fact. you have to do it. Look at this. This is. I saw someone on TikTok talking about this. And they said it is the best. I've seen them. Fidget toy. It's kind of like clay, but it, it's like magnet. This is oh, let me tell you what books I got. I didn't really like talk about it in, on here. We made some friends in the book aisle and I started chit chatting and you know me, once I'm chit chatting, like we're not getting anything productive done. So I didn't get that many clips of like picking books. So first book we got My Vampire Plus One and this is Fake Dating a Vampire. His name is Reginald Cleves. I, I don't know if I've explained this, but I've been reading like the heaviest fantasy lately and I want something stupid and fun. Also, I think I'm gonna do a video on these. So be on the lookout for a Halloween romance reading vlog. But My Vampire Plus One, Fake Dating. I think she brings him to a wedding. He's super old vampire. I mean, you know, it's giving everything we needed to give. I can't, I might actually read this, start reading this as soon as I get home. I'm so excited about that. Okay. Then so the next two were actually, I made some notion board. I made like a fall reading notion mood board thing where I looked up books and tried to decide what I wanted to read. Um, and these next two were on there. Do your worst. This is a girl that her name's Riley and she has the chance to turn her 
family's knack for supernatural into a legitimate business and she's hired to break a curse on a castle. It's like close proximity, enemies to lovers. I'm very excited about this. I think it's gonna be really cute. How cute are these covers? They just really understand the assignment these days with these covers. So we've got those. And then last one we have Morbidly Yours. This is a widow and a guy who needs to take over his family's undertaking business, but he can only take it over if he's married by the time he's 35. So he has to marry her and he's literally an undertaker. And I don't know, I think this is gonna be so cute. I love fake dating, I love fake marriage. We have two fake dates. I mean, hi. Tell me I'm not gonna have the cutest Halloween time of my life. So hopefully we get all three of these books read. I've just been reading such deep, insane fantasy. Georgia, what are you doing? I'm watching a tutorial on what to do with the... Dude, this is like probably the best thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my I'm God. I'm gonna make a tube. I can't. Dude, this is so satisfying to have wrapped around your finger. It's fucking funny. Anyway, I've been reading such deep fantasy lately and having something light and stupid and fun that's also like fall vibes, I think is gonna be so good for me. So hopefully we get these read this month. I literally spent $50 on books. I haven't bought books in so long. Like I don't even remember. I think the last time I was at Barnes was on this, like on my channel, which was like over a month ago. It was like before I even started my new job. I don't know, remember I said that the, this vlog is about finding my personality again after moving and getting a new job because those cannot be my personality and they were for a bit, like moving and getting a new job was my entire personality. It feels like I'm coming back into myself literally just by buying these books, so great job. And now we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A, another key element of my personality. <laughs> Can you even see mine? We're <laughs> playing girls. Can you believe it? Look at me sitting under mine. <laughs> we're Wait. going a little crazy in okay, here. Can you get a picture? Yes. You guys don't know the damage I've done. Uh, I'm so excited about my plant. All right, everyone. Nothing to see here. Everything looks pretty similar since... Honestly, your car looks great like this, Georgia. I know. I feel like it was much needed. I really wanted this giant fig tree, and Georgia, honestly, is who talked me into getting it. Thank you so much, Georgia. Because I almost got the smaller one. We almost were like, you know what? This big one, we're not going to be able to get it home. And it is quite literally laying completely flat in Georgia's car with wrapped in a bunch of bags. Imagine you're a plant, Katie. And you get picked up by two Us. white girls with blonde hair, and they're trudging you through the lows, laughing and taking pictures, <laughs> and then they shove you sideways into a very small car. <laughs> if you could have been a fly on the wall in the lows today, I mean, I guess you kind of were when we were holding them. I mean, like, he he, this we were like he he ha ha. This poor plant's like, what is happening? To me? <laughs> Lol, look at my. It's like eight feet tall. This is like taller than a Christmas tree. Oh, she kind oh, of moved. She was a just bit. rolling a little. <laughs> It's all right. She's good. She's, she's good. fine. Hey, mister. Can you move your leaves for a <laughs> Just gotta get gotta nice get comfy. and comfy in here. <laughs> Imagine if we died in a car accident and the reason and this is, because... is in here. <laughs> Look, can we just... Oh my God, the accident was so bad. Georgia and impaled the car. Georgia got a giant Monstera. And can we just talk about how not even two weeks ago I was trying to tell Georgia about it. She goes, Katie, I just really have no... I don't get it, I'm and now, now she gets invested. it. She gets it now. Fully She's invested. now like helping me buy a like forty foot. I am fully fucking, fucking fig invested. tree. Hello guys, we're back home. I really want to put on something cozy, so let's go put on a pullover because that's what I want. Um, it's only six forty-seven, but it feels way, way later than that. I don't know why that is. We need a pullover. I kind of want. My 1975 pullover, even though it's not cold at all. Like I just want, you know, like fall vibes. Like literally Alexa play part of the band. I got this when I saw them at their very best, on their, at their very best tour. I need some little shorts on too. Guys, we got so many things today. There was a huge sale at Bath and Body Works, which I'm usually not a Bath and Body Works person, except I love their hand sanitizers and maybe that's very 2014 of me, but guys, I literally got, I think, let's see, two, four, six, ten hand sanitizers today. And uh, there was a, they were selling all of their fall scents for literally, it was like 60% off plus an additional 25% off if you got their app. Um, and I did that obviously. So they were literally like 58 cents. Like this one is, oh, it smells so good. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. Like, Okay, and that's not where I stopped. If you think that I just got hand sanitizer while I was there, you would be wrong with this. one needs to go in my purse. 
I also got these, how cozy are the vibes in the house? We have all the Amazon light bulbs and so you can set them to like half brightness to have like a very warm and cozy lighting feel. And I mean, you can tell. I just love being in this house. Guys, I was literally talking about this a couple of vlogs ago before we had moved. I was like, I can't wait to be in the new house and like have cute backdrops and just like, I don't know, just have things be better. And they just, they just really are better. And I'm so happy. I also can't wait for Christmas. I don't know. Anyways, just, just me being sappy about the new house. Okay. Um, a day at the cafe, their candles were literally like $6 today on with their sale. So I got a day at the cafe. This one smells like coffee and like hazelnut coffee and pumpkin. That's the best way I can describe it. I don't even know. Does it say? It says rich cold brew coffee, frothed milk, and sweet caramel syrup with ice. It, it definitely smells like that. It definitely does. Then we got maple pumpkin. This is like, this kind of reminds me of a pumpkin flapjack chai from Dutch Bros. If you are a flapjack chai person, so good. And the last candle I got is, I got this pumpkin apple one and it's very crisp. It feels very, it's more, I feel like this is more autumn, like a autumnal than these ones. I think I'm actually gonna burn this one now. I want a stockpile of candles, guys. When we moved in, we got given this tobacco and amber one and I've been burning this one a lot, but I'm gonna, again, I need like a stockpile. And the tobacco and amber is not very like fall smelling. It's just smelling in general. I also went to Ulta. I got press-ons, which I need to put these on. If you don't know, I talk about these in like almost every single vlog, especially like resets and stuff. These are impress colors. They're the nails that have like these sticky backs on them. And I swear by these, I live by, breathe and die by these. These will literally be good for two straight weeks. They do not come off. They're so sturdy. I really recommend the square shape, the round shape. They redid their backings and they're even stronger now than they used to be. I'm not sponsored at all guys. Like I just literally love these so much, but the round ones do last long, but I just feel like the round shape, it get, it like is not as strong as the square shape, if that makes sense. And it kind of um, loses its shape faster than the square where it stays good for longer. I also got my skincare. I used The Ordinary. I got their niacinamide and their salicylic acid. I've been out of this for a couple weeks and have just been putting off going and getting new. And now I have it, so that's great news. And then of course you guys already saw my Barnes haul. And I'm just so happy about all these Halloween books. I'm literally gonna get into one as soon as possible. And then I also, I didn't show you this plant in all the hectic stuff. I was going at Home Depot, which by the way, there is my fig tree, but I don't like it right there. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm like, it might be going in our bedroom, but I feel like it's a living room plant because it's so big. And I just, I'm at a loss, guys. I really, I really don't know where to put him. And I thought like this corner would be good, but I have my hanging, this guy hanging right here. So I don't think that he can go there. I don't think that he, he doesn't look right with the Monstera and I put this clock up. So that doesn't make sense. And like he could technically go behind that chair. Like I think that would be a great spot for him. But there is a big ass lamp there now. So that's not gonna work because he's about the size of the lamp. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I also have this tray for him. I got some saucers while we were there um, so that when I water, it doesn't get all over my floor, which I didn't even, I have never seen these at Home Depot. Um, these are from Lowe's, by the way. We went to Lowe's for all the plants. Hi, vlog. It is actually the next day. I haven't really updated you guys today because we had some errands to run. We ran around and went to pick up some conduit. I don't know if any of you are familiar with what conduit is. I wouldn't be surprised if you're not, but basically it's just to like lay some electric line because we're doing some plugs, like trailer plugs in our backyard for people to rent. Um, and for Ethan's mom. So he went and picked that up. Ethan had to go to BJJ and I went with him just so I could see him because he was off today. Oh, and we had to go pick up some stuff from town. Um, so we went and did all of that. And then we got home and Ethan's friends over because they're gonna shoot coyotes out in the desert tonight. And I'm just sitting here reading this amazing book that I got yesterday. Um, I'm not gonna give my thoughts or feelings in this video deeply about this because I'm actually gonna it's a secret, just I'm letting you in a little secret. There's gonna be a reading vlog of like fall Halloween uh, romances, which I think I kind of already told you guys that, but um, I'm starting that now. So I'm having a good time. And after reading like really high fantasy for the last few months, this is just the most rewarding 
exciting experience. And just sitting here on my couch in my cute little house reading my book is actually the best feeling ever. So I'm gonna dive back into this until my sister gets here because her husband's gonna come over and shoot coyotes with them in a little bit. But I'm gonna read this for a bit and yeah, I don't know. I think this will probably be the end of this vlog, guys. I think we will probably be ending the vlog here because tomorrow is Monday and I go back to work. But thank you all so much for being with me this weekend and kind of getting into more of a normal setup. Um, I'm still not fully like settled here and I don't expect to be for a little bit longer. I'm still in that like new house mode and trying to get set into a routine. But I do feel like I have more of my personality back than I did at the beginning of this video when my whole personality was literally just that I was moving and I got a new job. So mission accomplished as far as I'm concerned. But I will see you guys in the next video. Hit subscribe. I would love to hear from you in the comments um, how you're doing, what you're reading, what's going on with you. I've missed you guys a lot. It's been a little bit since my last video because I've just been, literally, I, as you can see, my life's been all over the place. But I love you so much and I can't wait for even more videos in the new house. Bye guys. Peace.